Obasek's in bad shape. He needs field surgery right now, or he's not going to make it. I can't do this alone. I'll need your help to save him. Ah, we've got to help him. He keeps getting away. If he leaves through a gateway, he could return with enough Iconians to finish us off. Do you want to pursue him? Look, Akiv was the target, but the Iconians are already here in this version of events. The damage he has done is already dealt, and his escaping allows him to elude us today, but what is to come? Well, he will not evade us together. Only by staying united can we weather the storm. Which means we need Obisek alive. And he's a friend and would do the same for me. We lean in to stabilise Obisek's wounds and prepare him for transport. With him stabilised, while the sounds of battle rage on around us, events come to a standstill, and Lincoln appears. Rest easy, friends. This part of the trial has reached its conclusion. There's a portal nearby. Use it to return to Yarnak. He wishes to review the results of the trial. Very well. I hope he got what he needed by making me relive this trauma. Leaving the battlefield of Brea Three behind us again, we step into the newly formed archway, back to Excalbia proper. We made a choice today, to save a leader and a friend over letting an enemy escape. Unfortunately, we're completely unaware of the scene that just transpired. Still, as we approach, we can see Burnham, Seven and Lincoln are already waiting here alongside Yarnick. Alright then, Yarnick, let's talk. At a critical moment, you move to save Obasek's life. Because of this, Akiv escapes and convinces the Iconians to pursue a scorched earth assault on their enemies. Millions more die in the following war as a result. An intriguing choice, to be sure. Oh, you can't know that. Besides, Akiv doesn't hold that much sway with the Iconians. Believe me, they wouldn't let him. No, experience tells me different. I stand by my choice. To callously leave an ally to die upon the battlefield is not the mark of a strong soul. Saving the life of a comrade in the fight against evil was a brave and noble act. One worthy of praise, rather than scorn. Thank you. The trial continues. Proceed through the nearby portal when you are ready to begin the next evaluation. Come this way for your next trial. So, with our first choice apparently resulting in major deaths down the line, I am left to wonder by what criteria Yarnik is calculating the following events. We step into the unknown for our next trial. These Excalvians have been trying to define good and evil with measurable metrics, and while there are some universal truths to abide by, good and evil can also be shaped by cultural norms. I look around at the selection of people that Yarnock's chosen to be here, a respected admiral of Starfleet who has had too much happen to them in a short span of time, and one of their selected officers, alongside two others. Seven of Nine was born of great evil, a victim and product of the Borg, someone who had participated in the assimilation of millions, yet she was able to find her own nature buried under all that with the help of her comrades. However, over time her experiences have left her with a somewhat jaded view of life, which has seen the re-emergence of that slightly ruthless streak. Burnham, on the other hand, is a character who has placed her own moral compass ahead of everything, frequently in her time in Starfleet, to the point where it almost cost her her career and she got actual jail time. She tries to act in the interests of the greater good, but has to learn along the way that you cannot do that without the small good too. As for Yarnik, we'll have to see, because I think his arbitrary predictions on future events may be skewing his reasoning. I feel like I'm running the Kobayashi Maru. Thank you for watching this episode of the Star Trek Online Story series, and please let me know if you want me to do every part, every trial of the measure of morality with this style where you get to choose the ending, or whether I should just have them all in one video. Whatever's easier for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you for the next part. Until then, thanks again and goodbye.